All right, here's a news article. He actually got a write-up um, at UCSC. I'm to get in the shade so you can see this. This is actually really impressive. Damn it. We might have our differences, but I'll admit, the guy's fucking smart, man. Okay, um... Vast quantities of ocean floor, seafloor flowing the volcanic rock in the upper oceanic crust, okay. And they're talking about heat, you can read that, but I'll skip to his part because this is pretty impressive. For the new study, first author Dustin Winslow, a UCSC PhD candidate who graduated this month, developed the first three-dimensional computer model showing how the process works. The model reveals a hydrothermal siphon driven by heat loss from deep in the earth and the flow of cold seawater down in the crust and warmed water up out of the crust. Dustin's model provides the best, most realistic view of these systems to date. Damn. Opening a window into the hidden realm of water, rock, and life. The model shows that the water tends to enter the crust. Okay, so how do they get down there? Recharge through seamounts where fluid flow is easiest due to favorable rock properties and larger seamount size. Water tends to discharge where fluid flow is more difficult due to less favorable rock properties or smaller seamount size. The finding is consistent with the field observations, field observations suggesting that the smaller amounts are favored to the sites of hydrothermal discharge. The model result is surprising initially and we had to run many simulations to convince ourselves that it made sense, Winslow said. We also found that models set up in the flow in the opposite direction would spontaneously flip so the discharge occurred through less transmissive seamounts. This seems to be fundamentally to explain that these systems are sustained. Okay. His project was founded by the U.S. National Science Foundation through a graduate fellowship and is part of the Center for Dark Energy Biosphere Investigations. All right. And this was um, during this. This was in 2015. I'll admit the guy's, the guy's always been very smart. That's the, uh... <laughs> Attraction. Initially. Before I realized we were totally toxic together, it was awful.